Welcome to another episode of Pramila's Veggie Recipes. Today I have chosen to make a date and not roll. A very simple, tasty dish which can be prepared by young children and adults a few days in advance leading to Diwali. So let's make a start. Good. The ingredients we need for this recipe are 250 grams of pitted dates, I've got three tablespoons of chopped pistachios, three tablespoons of pumpkin seeds, three tablespoons of chopped cashews, three tablespoons of chopped almonds. I've got about four to five tablespoons of desiccated coconut here, but we'll use oh, what we need out of that. And I have a tablespoon of ghee. So let's make a start with the recipe. I've got a bowl here in which I'm going to put my dates in. As it comes as a block, I'm going to gently break it down to make it easy to melt. It's not very hard, so very simple to just gently break it up into little pieces. Lovely, that's done. Now I'm going to add my ghee to that. There it goes nicely in there. Don't worry about mixing it too much as I'm going to put it in the microwave for the dates to soften up. I'm going to put this in the microwave for two to three minutes until the dates are softened up. The mixture is out of the microwave now. The dates have softened nicely. I'm just going to mix that all up. That's all lovely and nicely mixed. Now you add the pistachios to it. The pumpkin seeds. Now I'm going to add the cashew nuts. The almonds. Now mix it all together. This is a very easy recipe. Kids love making this, but with a bit of adult supervision as the dates might be a little hot, so please check before the children put their hands into the dates. When my kids were growing up, they looked forward to making this dish because there was no fire or gas involved and it was quite safe for them to make this. So the mixture is coming along very nicely and all the ingredients are mixed well as you can see. I'm going to put the bowl to one side and here I'm using cereal paper, a couple of sheets. I'm going to divide the mixture into half here. We'll roll it into a nice log. I'm going to use my little plastic to The 
clear paper is a very good idea as it acts as a nice breeze proof paper and uh, I usually keep all my cereal outlets in a safe place, wash, wipe, clean them and use them when I'm making my sweets. The roll in for a nice mixture. I'm going to put a little desiccated coconut at the bottom so when you cut it, it will look to almost like a Yule Christmas log. Festival is also another festive time just like Christmas. So this is ready. I'm going to leave it in my cereal paper and I'm going to take a foil here and I'm going to wrap it in here tightly. Close the ends off to stop the mixture drying. Looks like a nice sweet, doesn't it? Our Christmas cracker. And I'll do the same with the next one. And there's our second Christmas cracker ready. Right, so I've got these two into the fridge. You can leave them for a minimum of two hours or overnight. At the time of serving, you can just take one out, cut it as desired, or you can cut them all off and put it in a little container so they're ready to eat. So our date and nut rolls have been in the fridge for a couple of hours. I'm going to gently take the foil off. I'm going to cut it into thin slices. Wow. Here we are. I'm going to plate it up now. So our date in natural is now ready to be served for Diwali. Happy Diwali to all of you. Thank you for watching Premier Lies Veggie Recipes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.